Despite Destructoid, I've covered X-Blades quite a lot. Just in case you happen to miss the bucket loads of screenshots that developer South Peak seemed to assault us with daily in the run-up to the game's release. However, just in case you wondered why the only thing we ever saw were screenshots, allow me to explain it to you. You play Ayumi. I'm a treasure hunter. A treasure hunter who sounds like a reject from Sweet Valley High, seriously. I'm the best there is. Anyway, she does some things with some stuff and ends up spilling evil all over the place. Naturally, she gets cursed and then has to brainlessly beat everything with her swords until life is normal again. Theria Flay. X-Blades, generally, is not an awful game. I've played worse hack and slashers, but for a title that looks as pretty as X-Blades, it's a shame that it also suffers from some of the most retarded problems that I thought we ironed out at the end of the 20th century. Loose controls, a terrible camera, and conflicting game design riddle this product like brain disease riddled my grandmother. Ayumi has three main modes of attack, swords, guns, and magic spells. The different types of enemy that you'll face during the game all fall foul of one of these attack types. However, the game trips itself up by forcing you to fight all three enemy types at once, and you just can't do it. The targeting system, for example, is complete shit and seems intent on targeting the most far-flung and harmless enemy on the screen. This doesn't even go into the fact that you simply can't fire guns, swing swords and shoot magic fireballs all at the same time, because you're not Chuck Norris. Even though a cocktail of enemy types are on your ass at any given moment. If you concentrate on the magic enemies, the melee enemies will surround and gut you. If you concentrate on the melee enemies, the magic ones swoop in and reduce your health bar in seconds. The combat is such a mess that everything from the smallest encounter to the longest, most tedious boss fight is reduced to mindless button mashing that would put even Streets of Rage to shame. Except of course, Streets of Rage had an excuse for its unbalanced gameplay, because it was the early frigging 90s and not 2009. Yeah, right! For action junkies, X-Blades will provide a weekend's worth of button smushing fun, but the game is so half-baked in its design that I really wouldn't recommend a buy. It's a shame because this game had potential to be really, really fun. Theory of play.